Hi, this is Theo from Pocketblocks.com. Last week, I featured Paul Wang's accordion sketchbook. You should watch that video if you haven't done so. This week, I'm going to feature his other sketchbook. This is his or other sketchbook. Let's see what's inside. Paul is my friend from Singapore. We go out sketching often. This is volume 23 of his sketchbook. This is volume 24. This is a Moleskine sketchbook. This is a special edition of the Moleskine sketchbook uh, created especially for the Urban Sketches Symposium. I also have that, but mine is still empty. So this is how it looks like uh, without the sticker. Uh, so he likes to paste all these little stickers on his sketchbook and also from uh, shops. Oh, this one is interesting. This one is from Urban Sketches Hong Kong. And this is the standard Moleskine sketchbook. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Moleskine. I'm not affiliated with them. Very important, always write your name on the first page so that people can get back to you if they happen to find your misplaced sketchbook. Um, some color swatches. This is from the Daniel Smith Prima Tech. Oh, I, hope. I also have this box set, but I haven't started using it yet. But well, it's very nice granulation pattern. These are actually pigments that are grind from very precious gemstone. So here we see more of his cafe sketches. Now root. His style is very expressive and a bit very loose as well. You can see that he likes to use a lot of white and he likes to contrast the white with the bright colors. More color swatches. These are like um, Daniel Smith colors if I'm not wrong. A oh, very lovely granulation pattern. This is cerulean blue chromium and transparent prior orange. Transparent prior orange is a very nice red <clears throat> and if you mix it with cerulean blue you get a very nice um, sort of a dual tone color because they do not mix uh, completely because of the cerulean blue. If you mix it with cobalt blue then you get a pretty much a, a better mixture so called and you get stuff like that. The Serenian Blue is noted for its granulation pattern. So you can see this um, pretty granulation pattern. He draws with his Sailor Fountain Pen. This, I think I've revealed this one before. This is the Fude Nip Fountain Pen. More color testing at cafes. This is Queen Rose and Cerulean Blue. This is at Clementi. It's a neighborhood town in Singapore. This is also at Clementi at the market. So they are selling food at the Hawker Center here. Oh, I remember this. This is actually um, a place in Hong Kong. Paul has taught in Hong Kong before, so he spent a few years there teaching. This is the tram in Hong Kong, people in Hong Kong, cafes in Hong Kong, black and white sketches, a clutch of uh, different dim sum, Cuisine in Hong Kong. This is a Hungry Ghost Festival celebration. Very bright. It's an opera stage. We seldom see this type of opera stage uh, in Singapore. It's quite rare. It's almost like dying out. So it's good to like capture something like this in a sketchbook for remembrance. 
here it's, I'm not sure what this this street this is another cafe I think he's still in Hong Kong this is a live uh, a live drawing session with studio 110 yes it still looks like he's in Hong Kong at Causeway Bay I've been to Hong Kong a few months ago so looking at these sketches it really brings back memories and really makes me want to go back there again the food there is very good although it's a bit pricey but it really is very good I remember the public transport there is also very efficient and it's really affordable as compared to European countries or Australia, the transport there is really much affordable. Wow, well, actually, this book is like dedicated to food and cafes. More color swatches, name cards. Sometimes it's good to keep name cards. He likes to uh, paste them here. For me, I would just keep them at the back pocket of the sketchbook. So more people sketches, cafe sketches. Okay, now he's back in Singapore. This is Coast Road. Ah, like the very lovely color combination: red, yellow, green, and blue. Paint when you are happy. Paint when you are sad. Paint anyway. This again is at Ohan. This is Brunches Cafe. I was there that day. Green Traders. Green Traders. Wow, that's a lot of cafe that I have not visited. So this is the pocket that I was talking about. I put my name cards here instead of sticking them onto the pages. But I can see that it's pretty. Uh, it looks pretty good when you stick them to the pages as well. So it's fun to explore other people's sketchbooks. That's all for today's sketchbook feature. If you have any questions for Paul, ask them in the comment section. I will get him to answer them. I will also post a link to his website so that you can check out more of his artworks. Um, there are also some scanned images from his sketchbook on his webpage. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more sketchbook features in the future and art product reviews, sketching tips and techniques. That's all. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.